Hey guys, welcome to my Dagonoth Kings guide. This guide will allow you to solo the Dagonoth Kings with ease. They are a pretty old boss, so if you are using some pretty high-end gear, then you are going to have no problem killing them. And you can actually get upwards of 200 kills per hour on these Dagonoth Kings. You can make a ton of money off of them because all of their rings are going through the roof in terms of price with the brand new rings with the Rex Matriarch. So anyway guys, I really hope you do enjoy this video and let's jump right into it. So we're gonna start off with an overview of the Dagonoth Kings. So they are three bosses and they are all level 303. They have 35,000 health each and each boss must be killed by the combat style that they are weak against. So this is a really key distinction for the Dagonoth Kings. Um, it's a lot different than any other boss, so you will need three combat styles if you're planning on killing all three of these bosses in an instance, which I highly do recommend. It's pretty hard to try and stay away from two of them. So basically you will be tri when you are fighting these bosses. And although it does sound somewhat difficult, trust me, it really isn't, and you're going to see that in this guide. So now looking at some recommendations... First off, you will want 80 plus melee ranged magic if you're looking at doing this method pretty effectively. Um, those are some pretty basic stats just to have if you want to um, kill them pretty efficiently. And then also 92 prayer with soul split is essential if you're looking at doing this method at really high kills per hour. You're going to need that heal because um, they actually do deal quite a bit of damage against you. Also, the Fremenic Sea Boots 4, which do require the Fremenic Elite tasks completed, are really helpful. They allow you to deal 10% more damage to the Dagonoth Kings with auto attacks and 5% more with abilities, as well as noting the bones that the Dagonoth Kings do drop. The Mask of the Dagonoth is also really helpful. It will increase your profit by about 10%. So, as I mentioned, there are three different Dagonoth Kings. So, first off is the Dagonoth Prime, which is the blue one. It is weak against ranged attacks, so you will need to use ranged attacks against this Dagonoth King um, in order to kill him. Um, second is the Dagonoth Rex, which is the red one in the middle. You're going to want to use magic attacks against it. It is actually weak to the Inquisitor Staff, so you will get that Inquisitor Staff buff if you are using it, just because the Dagonoth Rex does use melee attacks. And then also there is the Dagonoth Supreme, which is weak to melee attacks, and is the green Dagonoth on the right. Now moving on to the gear setup. So this is a really important part. So as you guys can see, I do have three different combat styles on me. Um, in my gear, I am using a Noxious Scythe as well as my Masterwork Body and Legs. So that's for my melee. And then I also do have the Saren God Bow along with the uh, Anima Core of Zamrock. That's my ranged weapon. And then I have my Pernix and my Inquisitor Staff for my magic gear along with uh, my Room Pouch. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you don't have a Saren God Bow, just use any other uh, weapon. You will need to bring some arrows or some ammunition for it, and that's just another thing that you will have to switch um, in and out. Um, if you are using a large room pouch, you can just have it in your inventory rather than uh, having it uh, equipped to you, just so you don't have to keep on switching the room pouch and the arrows. Also, my gear is fairly high-end. You can fight these bosses pretty easily with lower gear. Um, you'll just want to bring your best melee range and magic gear with you. I recommend only bringing the weapon, the body, and the legs. Um, now, in your uh, helmet slot, the best thing that you can use is the mask of the Dagonoth. So, if you are wearing the mask of the Dagonoth, um, you will get an additional drop for every 10th kill. So that's why you're going to want to be wearing it. You're basically going to be getting an extra drop every 10th kill, which will increase your GP per hour. It also does um, add extra damage against Dagonoths, so it is an even weak in that way. Um, so that's why you're going to want that in the helmet slot. Uh, as for the glove and boot slot, it really can be anything. I recommend Cinderman gloves. Um, 
they're really great to use they also have that poison effect to them and they aren't really that expensive to repair either um, so those are a really nice um, item to have and then in the boot slot i just have my crystal boots but for that slot you really can have um, any hybrid boots i'm also using the blood necklace of fury and my luck of the dwarves um, as you guys can see, I do have an enhanced Excalibur as well as some overloads, some super restores. Um, I have one Ceridoman Brew just in case of emergencies. Then I am also bringing some Magic Notepaper. This is a really good idea to bring if you're looking at picking up the Dagonoth Bones or even the Dagonoth Hide. Um, I do have some emergency food and then one Dagonoth King's Teleport tab um, just to go straight to the lair. Um, you can also use a PVM hub teleport um, if you want to do that instead. Now, probably one of the most important things you guys will need to do is go into your settings. Um, you're going to want to go to the combat and action bar tab. Um, and then you're in your action bar binding tab. This is really important to have set up. So as you guys can see, my ranged two-hand weapon in the first slot, um, it is binded to uh, slot number three of my action bar. So for example, when I do equip my Saren God Bow, my action bar is going to switch to uh, the third one, which is my ranged two-hand action bar. So this is really helpful when you are swapping your combat styles, when you are fighting the Dagonoth Kings. Um, it's basically going to be needed if you're looking at getting some high-end kills per hour. So that being said, make sure you have all your action bars ready and just bind them to the correct weapon before going. So now I'm just going to go through a few kills with you guys just so you guys can see what it's like. So first off, if you are using the teleport tab, you are going to end up here. Just run to the end of this cave and uh, you'll see some rocks here. You're going to want to jump over them and then you can start an encounter by right clicking on the ladders here. Um, I recommend going to the fastest um, respawn time. However, if you are a bit of a lower level or you're having trouble doing it, you can lower that um, so you will get some time to recover in between the respawns. Now, when you first enter the encounter, all three Dagonoths will spawn at the same time. You're going to want to start off by killing the Dagonoth Supreme with your melee gear. Um, then you're going to want to switch to the ranged gear kill the uh, Dagonoth Prime, and then switch to the Magic Gear to kill a Dagonoth Rex. Essentially, you're just going to be doing this over and over, and it, you should kill them in just in time for the next one to spawn, so you should only have one, maybe two on you at a time, um, and if you are using Soul Split, you will have no problem doing this method. The Dagonoth Kings can hit you quite hard from time to time, especially if you do have two or three of them on you, so you will just want to pay attention to your health and eat when necessary. Make sure that you always have an overload active if you can. Um, that will help you a lot, um, just so you won't take as much damage. You'll also kill them a lot faster, so it is really helpful when you are doing this method. In terms of an aura, as you guys can see, I'm not using an aura, but um, any damage increasing aura would be helpful, or the vampirism aura if you're kind of struggling with these bosses. Um, but overall, that is it. If you are using this gear setup, you should have no problem with the Dagonoth Kings, and you'll kill well over 200 per hour, which will allow you to make just insane amount of money right now. Um, and basically, that is it. I'm going to let this clip run just so you, so you guys can see some footage of me actually killing the Dagonoth Kings and maybe take a few tips from it. Um, but anyway, guys, I really hope you did enjoy the video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.